21-year-old Hannah Vines is making her first trip to UAB's adult spina bifida clinic. Spina bifida is a birth defect where the spine doesn't form properly. There didn't used to be a need for an adult clinic for conditions such as spina bifida or Down syndrome or cystic fibrosis. It used to be people with these conditions didn't live to adulthood. But modern science and medicine have changed that. It is now the norm for our kids to go on into adulthood. Jeff Blount is a pediatric neurosurgeon. He's been okay, treating so kids with spina bifida for years at Children's of Alabama, which houses one of the largest spina bifida clinics in the country. We found that we were not capable any longer of meeting the needs of adult patients as these people were um, getting to the age of 18, 20, 22, 24. Adults with spina bifida still need specialized care. The problem was there was no place to turn. And it graduated to the edge of the cliff. You know, here you go, off you go, and you know, sh handshake and good luck. Enter UAB, where rehabilitation physicians were meeting some of the needs of some adult patients. Blount and colleagues were able to add the other major medical specialties to create a comprehensive clinic. It's one-stop shopping for the patient, and they go into a room, they see neurosurgery, urology, and rehab medicine. Blount says there are less than 10 adult spina bifida clinics in the nation. We're well ahead of the national curve. Um, many big medical centers are struggling with this issue of transition. We've transitioned about 100 patients so far. Um, 2011 was the first year that we actually transitioned more patients into adult care than we had new babies being born. I think it's been beyond anybody's expectations as far as how rewarding the patients have found it. First-timer Hannah agrees. I loved it. Everybody was nice.